Okay, so welcome back to my Python lecture series. Today, we will be learning all about sorting. So, ano nga bang sort? So, according to Google, sorting is the act of arranging objects by class or based on a parameter. Okay, so we have learned before how to sort values in a list, no? That is using the dot sort method. So, how do we do that again? We just do test dot sort opening closing parenthesis and then we can now print the sorted list okay remember now the dot sort method cannot be printed and you need to print the list itself kasi the dot sort method sorts the list itself okay so if i run the code you will see here na pina prioritize ni python yung numbers before letters and pina prioritize rin niya yung mga capital letters before lowercase letters. Okay? So, so here mapapansin nyo na nauna yung mga may numbers kaysa sa mga may letters lang. And na, na, nauna yung mga may capital letters kaysa sa mga small letters lang. Okay? So ganun mag-sort si Python. So paano naman kung gusto natin in descending order, no? So, nauna yung ABC, then ABC na malaki yung A and C, then susunod yung 1 ABC, then 1 ABC na malaki yung A. Okay? So, we can pass in just the reverse parameter, no? So, reverse equals true. And if we print now again our list, na-reverse na siya. Okay? So, there is another parameter na we can pass in sa ating that sort method that is the key parameter so yung key is sino sort niya based dun sa key okay so we can try that so test to that sort opening and closing parenthesis then key equals then we need to make a function na mag act dun sa each of the elements in the list so let's say for example we want absolute value abs value na lang. Okay? Now, we need to make a function called abs value. So, def abs value. And then, we need to take in one parameter. So, for example, our number is the parameter. Okay? Now, we want to return the absolute value of that number. So, return abs number. Okay? So, so now test to that sort with key equals absolute value will do is kukunin niya yung bawat number sa list natin and then kukunin niya yung absolute value. Then isustore niya yun pa sa isang space, no? And then isusort niya yung mga numbers na yon. Then ire-return niya sa atin yung mga original values na na-sort na. So, if I do that, I print test2 and I run the code, makikita nyo na nauna yung 5, then 10, then minus 12 kasi mas malaki yung absolute value ng minus 12 sa 10 and then 20, 50, minus 100, and minus 100. Okay? So, there is another way to sort which is using the sorted function. So, dito, ginamit natin dot sort, pero we can also do sorted. Okay? So, what we can do is just replace yung test dot sort dito by sorted. And then, we pass in that list that we want to sort. Test. Diba? So, we can just delete this now. And we do sorted test. Okay? So, let me just comment these out first. So, sorted test, then print test. No? So, as you can see here, Wala siyang ginawa sa list natin, no? Kasi this is not a method. This is a function. So, we can actually print sorted test. Okay? And just remove this. And ito ay the same na dun sa test.sort kanina. Okay? Sorted can also accept a parameter called reverse, no? So, reverse equals true. And this is the exact same thing na ginagawa nung reverse sa dot sort method. It reverses the whole list. Ang kagandahan lang dito, the sorted 
function can be printed no and it can also be stored in a variable so for example x equal to sorted test that reverse true then i can print x so it still works then uh, we can also change this uh, test two natin so we can change this into sorted okay sorted key equals absolute value and then we put in the test two na list and we remove print the test two and just print this whole thing okay and we run it so you get the same thing so today we have learned two ways to sort so the dot sort method sorts the list itself while the sorted function uh, makes a copy of that list and then sorts that list okay and we have also learned two parameters reverse which reverses the whole list and then key yung key yung ginagamit natin to sort the numbers in the list okay so the key is not limited to just numbers you can also pass in functions kung saan it categorizes strings then okay so i hope to see you again next time